G'day Debray Faithful, it's Naughty here after Melbourne have defeated Hawthorne by 55 points. Very professional, didn't expect it to be honest. I thought they would make it a lot tougher for us. I mean, fair play to them in that second quarter. They ramped up their pressure and their intensity. They went with us for as, as long as they could and then in the end class prevailed and it was a great win. I mean, May and Lever being down for a half a footy and to come out and, and effectively win by 10 goals was unbelievable. Christian Petrarca, he was awesome. He was absolutely awesome. And yes, he's probably the best player of field for the amount of touches that he had and the score involvements and all the things that we know he's, he's, um, he's renowned for. But that interception at the end and the way that they celebrated it, we've been calling out for it for a long, long time now, that team first mentality. And I have no doubt that'll get highlighted during midweek. That was absolutely awesome and it was good to see all the players getting around him so where do we go to from here i mean it's a tough schedule port crows into brisbane at the mcg they'll be seething from their slow start for the season so there's a lot to come however i thought today knowing that may and lever were out of the game in the second half we really stood up it's great to see tom mcdonald doing his thing harrison petty going back in the second half marty hoare coming in as the sub and playing his role absolutely fantastic tom sparrow deserves a mention i thought he really got going uh, ed langdon as well he deserves a mention there are a couple of players we've, we've been a little bit harsh on in the first two weeks of the season so credit where it's due they got the pill, they used it well. They're really good in the contest, both of those players putting their body on the line. So fair play to both of them. Um, Cozzy Pickett, electric, first half, brilliant. Nibbler, particularly first half, absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Uh, Hawks players targeting Clary, absolute dogs, but enjoyed seeing our players get around Clary and protect him in the end. Uh, who else, who else? Caleb Windsor. My God, <laughs> he is a player. We said it on the, the Thursday podcast. He's a serious, serious player. I can't wait to see him play 250, 300 games for this football club. He's absolute class. Blake House, another one that just popped into my mind. He is, again, another player that I can see playing for a very long time and, and won't be displaced from this 22, 23 uh, He's just so poised, doesn't rush it. And then I think we have to give a big shout out to Frida. So Frida, limited opportunities again, but he finds a way, he kicks five, could have had six, could have had seven. Uh, he's just a dead eye dick. Yes, is he, is he the quintessential cherry picker? Absolutely. But he just knows where the goals are. So look, there are many other facets of that game that we need to to work through over the coming days. We'll have the player ratings tomorrow, the review show tomorrow night, myself and Kados. Scotty Hort might drop in, depends on how he's going after the F1 tomorrow. But um, all in all, just very happy, very pleased. A really good performance in the days. So we're two and one, starting to set up the season well. But as I said before, we've got a grueling schedule coming into play and uh, yeah, I mean, what happens with May and Lever in the coming days will be really interesting, but um, couldn't be happier. We'll leave it at that. Go Dees, and uh, we'll see you on the review shows.